Good morning. Today is Sunday, February 26th, 2017. Welcome to Tom's Tech Tips. I am Tom Kalinowski, the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today we're going to go over how you can use some of the mail merge features inside of G Suite for Education to create multiple customized letters. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. So we're here in my Google Drive. And you can see I have two documents here. Uh, one is a doc and the other is a spreadsheet. So let's take a look at the doc first. If I open up the doc, I can see that I have a uh, letterhead here and uh, you can see that I have some text below. Um, for, my, uh, for my own sake, I've uh, placed in bold the items that I want to change uh, or be dynamic. Um, so you see that I have name here, um, their position or job, and which school uh, the individual would be working uh, in in the uh, summer program that we're hosting here at Colonial IU 20. The next document that we have here in our Google Drive is a spreadsheet. So if we open up that, you can see that we have a typical spreadsheet. Uh, we have a first name, last name, um, building, position, many, many other fields, uh, but nothing really special about this spreadsheet, uh, just that it contains the data that we want to uh, put inside of our document. So this should say, Dear John Smith, congratulations, you've been selected for the job or position of teacher with a school location of, let's say, Colonial Academy. In order to set our document up to properly merge, we need to modify uh, some of these placeholders that I set up earlier. So let's take a look at the first one. We have Dear Name. So here we're going to want to put the name of the person, like Dear John Doe. Um, so let's take a look at our spreadsheet and find the name columns. We can see uh, first name and last name. It's first underscore name and last underscore name. So if we go back to the document, let's get rid of our placeholder there and let's put our tags in. And if you remember, our tags need to be surrounded by less than and greater than signs. So if we do less than, less than, first underscore name, because that's the title, uh, that's the header in the column and we close that by less than signs or greater than signs and then put a space and then less than less than and we'll type in last underscore name greater than greater than um, so we have dear first name last name so that's perfect so the next one uh, that we have to do is you've been selected for the position of uh, job or position whatever that is so let's go back to the spreadsheet uh, and we can see that uh, the uh, header is position. So if we go back here, we'll type in less than less than position, greater than greater than. And if we wanted that to be bold in the letter, uh, we could do that. We could just select the tag and make it bold. And with a school location of school, so we're looking for the building there or the school. Uh, here we see it here, it's building. Uh, so we'll go back here and we'll get rid of that. And we'll type in less than, less than, building, greater than, greater than. And uh, right uh, there, we can see that that's going to be bold and underlined. Um, we can uh, not underline it uh, by clicking uh, to remove underline or add it back, or whatever you want. Um, but we'll keep it uh, just as it is right now. And that's it for preparing the document. Um, so we can see, dear first name, last name, we have position there and we have building there. So let's, uh, let's get back to the spreadsheet. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is click on add-ons and then um, we could open up Autocrat in this particular instance and let's click on open. If you don't have Autocrat, I'll put a link to that inside of the uh, um, show notes. So you'll see the Autocrat window comes up uh, and it says loading here. And right now uh, we have uh, no jobs and it says click here to begin. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, for the job name, uh, this is just for reference so you can uh, run it later. Uh, so we'll call this extended school year uh, letters. We'll go ahead and click on next again. Now it's asking uh, to choose a template. Um, so what document uh, do we want to create over and over and over again? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on from drive. And in front of us, uh, we're going to be presented with a, uh, a couple of uh, different documents that we can use. 
In this particular case, uh, this is the letter that we want to use. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click that and then click on select. The next thing we want to do is click on next. Okay, and now it is asking us uh, where we want to start merging the data from. So um, <clears throat> you can see that the title or the title of the sh individual sheet that I'm working on is US-500. Uh, so that's the merge tab that we want to uh, start working at. Uh, if your document has a header row, and most of them do, uh, you'll leave that as your header row being one. And the first data row uh, starts at two. Uh, so you can see that in row number two is the first set of data that we have. So we'll go ahead and click on next. All right. Um, the next thing we can see is it's asking for a file name for each document. It's important to know that you can use tags in your file name. Uh, so what a tag is, is it's a, a piece of dynamic data. So what that means is we can say that uh, the name of the file is John Smith's ESY letter, as opposed to just ESY letter 1, 2, 3, etc. Um, and how you use tags is uh, by using the less than signs and the equal signs. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. So let's say we wanted to name each letter, um, say their first name, last name, ESY letter. Okay, um, so let's do less than, less than, and we'll type in first name just as it is in the spreadsheet. Um, so over here you can see it's first underscore name, so we'll do that greater than greater than and we'll put a space in there and then less than less than we'll type in last name again just as it is in the spreadsheet now we'll put another space in there and we'll call it ESY letter okay and that's going to ask us how do we want to uh, um, save that document uh, we'll make it a PDF uh, for each individual document and um, we'll make a single document um, or not a single document. Let me explain the difference here. So a single document uh, you would use is if you wanted to do all of the mail merges and have one big document at the end with 2,500 however many uh, copies of that letter. The only uh, case where you would probably use that is if you were going to print it and then um, mail it out uh, in traditional mail. Uh, that way you don't have to run 500 print jobs, you can only run one print job. But in the case where you ultimately maybe want to email the document to each person, uh, we'll select multiple documents. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and click on Next. Choose a destination folder. Uh, so that's asking you where do you want to put all of the documents that end up getting created. So we'll go ahead and click on Choose. Okay. And well, uh, I've already created a uh, folder uh, in my drive called Mail Merge Letters. Uh, so we're going to ahead and click on that and then click on Select. And let's click on Next. When it asks for a dynamic folder reference, uh, that's not something we're going to cover now. Uh, and it is optional. So we're going to go ahead and just click on Next again. Um, you can uh, set mail merge conditions. Uh, this is optional. If anyone's uh, interested, just let me know in the comments and we can go over that in the future. Uh, but we're going to uh, skip that uh, for now. Uh, what you would use that for is let's say there was a particular piece of data in a column in the spreadsheet and you only wanted to do mail merges on that particular column. So let's say, I don't know, county. You only wanted to mail merge letters uh, where the county equaled Northampton. You could set up that condition. Uh, again, we're not going to go over that now, but if you're interested, put it in the comments and we'll uh, go over that at a later time. Let's go ahead and click on Next. Okay. Um, do you want to uh, share the docs and send emails later? In this particular case, we do, because um, uh, once we're done, we do want to uh, send that document to the uh, recipient at the end. Uh, so we'll save it as a PDF, and uh, we'll scroll down here. And uh, this is the uh, subject of the message. So uh, you can see, just like a normal email, you have two uh, carbon copy, line carbon copy, uh, subject, and uh, you could type in a message. All right, so the merge tag that we need to use uh, in the two column is email. Uh, that's because the column header email uh, is in our spreadsheet, and that particular column contains the email addresses of all of the recipients. So if you remember, to use tags, we do less than, less than, type in the name of the column header, and greater than, greater than. 
in the subject, uh, we can type uh, whatever we want. In this particular case, I've typed in ESY confirmation. In the message field, we'll type in a message uh, referring the recipient to the attachment that we're sending. So we'll type something like, please see the attachment regarding your summer ESY employment. And we'll go ahead and click on Next. We're asked about uh, adding or removing job triggers. We're not going to go over that, uh, but if it's something that you'd like me to go over in the future, please leave a comment. Uh, what this would be used for is if you uh, were generating a spreadsheet based off of, let's say, a form, and you wanted to run a mail merge job each time uh, somebody submitted a form, uh, that's where this would come in handy. Again, we're not going to do it today, uh, but if you're interested, let me know. Let's go ahead and click on Save, and we'll see it says Saving Job ESY Letters. Uh, and that's it. Uh, we are now ready to run this. In order to run the job, if we uh, hover over our ESY letters job, we'll see the arrow. If we go ahead and uh, hover over it, we see it says run job. So let's go ahead and click on that. We can see that it says running job ESY letters. We can see that it's saying merge sequence started. And momentarily, it's going to uh, start merging the jobs. We have, if we look at our spreadsheet, from 2 to uh, row 20, so that's 19 records. Uh, here we can see that it updated. It does say 19 rows will be merged. And now we can see that it's merging one of 19 records currently. If we want to go ahead and monitor the progress, we can go ahead, uh, while this is running, we won't close the window, uh, but we'll go back to our Google Drive. And we, earlier we specified where we wanted to put all of those documents. Uh, it was in the mail merge letters folder. So if we go ahead and open up that, we can see that there's three files in here now. As we continue talking, uh, more and more will be added. Uh, you can see that it's naming each document according to what we specified. And remember, we specified first name, last name, ESY letter. Um, so we can see we have four of them here. If we double click on one of them, uh, you'll see uh, we have the letterhead, and you can see uh, the information that it merged. Uh, so, Dear Barbara Adkin, uh, and these are all uh, fictitious names, by the way. Um, uh, you can see that uh, this particular person has been selected for the position of associate teacher with a school location of Freedom High School. Um, so the letter, uh, the mail merge worked. Uh, all of the uh, respective pieces of data are in the letter. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, click on back and then pick another letter. And same thing, uh, you see that the name merged fine, the position merged fine, and the location merged fine. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the spreadsheet's going to do this for all 19 letters. Uh, in addition, it's going to email that letter out to all of these people. Um, so let's take a look. Um, one of the, uh, let's go back to the uh, spreadsheet here. All right. Um, so the first uh, person here is Jonetta Abdalla. So let's uh, go into that test user's email account. And you can see that they have a uh, message. Um, let's uh, go ahead and click on that message. The subject is ESY confirmation, just as we specified. And the body of the message says, please see the attachment regarding your summer ESY employment. If we go ahead and click on that attachment, we can see the letter. Dear Janetta Abdalla, congratulations, you've been selected for the position of associate teacher with a school location of East Stroudsburg High School South for the 2017 extended year program, extended school year program. So that's it. Um, so we were able to take a spreadsheet uh, full of names and email addresses and positions uh, and any other pieces of information we want. We were able to create a custom letter uh, and put some merge tags in that letter that referred to columns in the spreadsheet and create a whole bunch of custom letters that we were able to successfully email out to all of the recipients. As always, I hope you found this tip valuable. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And I will see you guys again next time. Have a great day.